JSB sent me the new Hades 35 cal. Uh, these things are massive. I don't know if it'll focus in on that or not, but nine millimeter pellets right there. And we've got the AEA HP Max. I'm going to uh, just side in here real quick, see how they do, because I'm real curious. I'm really excited to see these and uh, see how effective they can be. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. All right, we're gonna do 70 yards here. And you guys will notice that I'm shooting off of the hood of Eric's car. That's because in Idaho, it's actually legal to hunt this way. So it's really stable, really nice. We can get a really good balance. And that's how we're gonna hunt through this video for the most part. Watch carefully and you can see my reticle move as I make the click adjustments for my 70 yard shot here. Wow. Glad I got that on camera. It was a 70 yard bullseye for MOA low. That's impressive. All right, I'm gonna move it back to 50, confirm. 50 yard shot. Let's see where this is going. Just a tad high, that's good to know. It's bouncing just a little bit. One last shot. Yeah, that's that's fun. That's really fun. This is this is gonna be awesome. Those last shots I was bouncing a bit here. Third shot put it through the same hole, I think. I gotta watch the video. And then it hit the metal and shot shrapnel back out through the cardboard on that side. 50 yards and then 70 yards was dead money right where I was aiming. This thing is awesome. That is way more accuracy than I anticipated out of a pellet gun. <laughs> Using these, it's huge. That's just awesome. I'm excited to see what that does. The 80s. Yeah, they're awesome. I use them. I use the 25 caliber 80s, and they're unbelievable performance. Yeah. Let's go kill some rock chucks. All right, guys. This first one, the first rock chuck that we see, I totally miss right over his head because it was at about 37 yards, and I don't think I was holding enough for it and the, the pellet just goes right over its head. It's confused. I do a second shot. Now watch carefully what happened, okay? You see that something impacts right there. But let's take a look again sure. and see what that impact right actually hidden. was. What if I even did? Watch the slow motion now. See that stick right behind his head? Boom. I missed him by a centimeter just his head. Okay, here's the next one. I make a silly mistake on this one. Boom, that should have been a perfect shot, right? Now, in your mind, what do you think could have gone wrong here? Why did I miss this shot? Because I can't figure it out. As you're watching here, I'm totally confused as to why I, was I missed that. On. So, watch a little more. See if you can guess. Do you see an impact anywhere around him? Yep, I forgot the magazine. Okay, now, finally we're on target. Sighted in, ready to go. Boom. Nailed him. Nailed him. Right behind the head. That was amazing. This thing is punching power. But there are more to come. Here comes some more. We are ready to go. About between 50 and 60 yards. That's a perfect sight in for what I am ready to do. There he is blending in so well to the rocks. Let's take a shot. Dead money. Now we take a second shot here just to make sure because he was twitching a bit. Uh, Eric wanted to make sure that we totally finished him off. Dead shot in the noggin. Yeah, pretty exciting. Let's watch that again. But from Eric's camera this time so you can see what's going on. There it is. You see, he was completely dead on the first shot. We just wanted to make totally 
totally sure. There it goes. Yeah, this thing is packing a punch. There you have it, guys. Uh, using the AEA HP Max, we just got this rock chuck after three days. <laughs> and uh, we, we've had a lot of fun on this trip. I used the new Hades 35 cal. And on this thing, the first time I hit it right behind the ear here, it was goner, but we wanted to make sure. So I put a second one right in its dome on top to make 100% sure it was done for. And uh, there's a big hole where it impacted. I mean, there's just no surviving that thing. Those Hades and the interesting part, from what I can tell, no exit wound anywhere. So the Hades went in and dumped all of its energy right into this thing. Even the second one, there's no exit wound. So it just goes in, expands so quick that it just, just took it out. So um, HP Max, very powerful. It's actually really accurate, but when you are shooting, if you have shot too many shots, it's unregulated, so it starts to dip at distance. So I noticed that 75 yards, I didn't really see too much of a dip. Um, you could shoot through four shots easy, and it was the same impact spot, a couple more, no problem. But 100 yards past, you start to see that dip. So uh, at 150 yards, you get first shot was a 30 MOA drop in this scope, Aztec Optics Emerald. Um, second shot was about 32, 33 MOA at 150 yards, right? And I'm filling this up to about 270 bar, uh, not even all the way up to 4,500, just because I've got a 4,500 air tank. And uh, that air tank itself, I can fill it up, but as soon as I start emptying into this massive reservoir, it starts to go down. So I fill it to about 270 bar and go from there and uh, it worked out pretty good. Now, 100 yards plus, I missed several shots. I'll openly admit because as I was taking too many shots, it started to drop. So I would compensate and it would still drop and I'd compensate more and it would still drop. Um, but as long as you keep it full, you know your distance is real well. We went in and we gathered more dope from this um, and just that's a result right there. So, Varminter Magazine, Hunting with Eric, it has been a blast, absolute blast. We've been out here, this is day three of hunting. Um, the Tacticam is awesome, being able to film through my scope as well as to film back towards me. Worked out really well. I have got vehicles all over the place <laughs> as I'm trying to film this. In the sky, driving by, anyway. Guys, I'm the Dollar Sportsman, thank you so much for watching these adventures. It has been awesome, and I've loved it, and I love you guys. Keep watching, please subscribe, comment on this one as well, tell me what you like about the HP Max, about hunting rock chucks and your experiences with them. These things are huge. This is the first time I've hunted them in my life, and it was awesome, just awesome. So, thank you very much for watching. A special thank you to Varminter Magazine for hosting me for three days, and uh, just having a blast. It's been great. I'll see you guys. Yes! <laughs> you guys excited? Yes. Excited. Yeah! No, it starts drilling. I guess it was. This is going to be a fun adventure. Yeah. Well done. That was awesome. <laughs> Do you see that? Woo! Yeah! You can do this. Get out there. Let's go do this. Woo! Fun. He's so fired up. This guy. I love oh, this guy.